Hey guys, what is going on? This is iAppleGeek3. Today I am back with another list of best tweaks for iOS 9.3.3 and I have tested them here on my iPhone SE. This list is going to be the top 15 tweaks that are going to enhance everyday usage on your device. Now to make this list just a little bit sweeter, every tweak on this list is free. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Now this first tweak is very useful inside of Cydia and the Contacts app when you scroll through a long list of things like this. This tweak is called Skippy where it gives you a heads up display when you touch a letter. So now you can easily tell where you are in this huge scrolling bar. The next on this list we have Priority Hub, a simple and elegant way of organizing notifications on your lock screen. Berry C8 allows you to assign application shortcuts to your lock screen. Just grab the application, swipe down towards the center, and then enter your password or use Touch ID, and you will be launched into that application. Super handy. Now this next one is a highly requested tweak, and it allows you to enable 3D Touch on any device that does not support it. So this is an iPhone SE that I'm currently using, and look at that, I have the iPhone 6S exclusive feature on my iPhone SE. This tweak is called Peekaboo and it allows you to get 3D touch support on non-supported devices. Pretty simple and inside the settings you can adjust the sensitivity and several other things. Now this tweak is great because it will work system wide no matter if it's just an application downloaded from the app store or the mail app. Everything works with this tweak. Look inside of Safari if I go ahead and search up a Google search it will let me peek and pop on the website. And now that you have a device with 3D touch let's go ahead and add to this functionality. Appendix allows you to 3D touch on a folder to access the first few apps and of course you can adjust this in settings to say how many will show up upon 3D touching the folder. Now this is a feature in iOS 10 I do realize but hey it's nice to have on iOS 9. Now let's extend 3D touch functionality to Cydia. This is a tweak called Tactful which allows basically every 3D touch functionality to be added to the Cydia application including the shortcut on the home screen and the ability to peek and pop on tweaks. Now as a little side note, please do not press too hard on your device. I am not responsible for any broken screens as a result of Peekaboo. Since this is just a simulation of 3D Touch on devices that are not supported, it doesn't actually magically give you the hardware to do 3D Touch. Alright, with that out of the way, let's take a look at the next tweak. This is called Swipe for More, where inside of Cydia, you can actually swipe on the tweaks to get more options. You can get it to install, or if it's already installed, you can queue it up to remove. Now, a lot of you guys were wondering how I got five icons into my dock. This is a tweak called Better Five Icon Dock. Now, the original five icon dock still does work on iOS 9.3. But Better 5 Icon Dock is great for iPhone 6S and 6S Plus where it optimizes the spacing of your icons. Again, this is Better 5 Icon Dock, an essential tweak to have. Next up, we have a brand new tweak out on Cydia. It's called Recero 9. It brings back the tiny bar tweak from a couple of years ago. It basically shrinks those big ugly banners into little tiny banners only filling up your status bar. Now there are still a lot of bugs in this as of now, but the developer has been updating this tweak a lot recently, so these bugs will be worked out by the time this video even gets to YouTube. Minimal HUD will transform your volume heads up display into a very minimalistic look. Now inside of settings, there are several different themes to choose and you can put this in a number of different positions on your screen. Definitely go check this one out. Next up we have Power Tap which enables a bunch of different features for the power down menu when you tap on the little knob it gives you to reboot, respring, and even safe mode. I don't know about you but I'm not a big fan of the signal dots in iOS 7 and above. I mean who asks, hey dude, how many dots do you have on your phone? We ask for bars. How many bars do you have on your phone? So this tweak will actually bring back the original bars look on your device. Why was this ever removed? Now let's take a look at some Safari tweaks. This is called Flat Safari URL, where it changes the URL bar into a more flat design. This to me gives off a cleaner look. Now if you look closely at my tab button, that is a tweak called Safari Tab Count, where it counts how many tabs you have. So if I go ahead and open up a second tab, the number will now say 2. Use Pull to Respring inside of the Settings application to quickly respring your device. Pretty handy tweak. 
And now, for those of you who have watched this video this far, I want to mention a few bonus tweaks. The first one is Activator. It has been updated for iOS 9.3.3. Now this will give you gestures on your device and there are a ton of different ones that you can set from the Activator application. And last but certainly not least, this is Spin Settings. You can adjust the speed of the spinning settings icon inside of the settings application. You can get it to go at a crazy speed. Alright you guys, that is all I have for you guys in this video, but don't leave yet. I want you guys to rate me up if you guys enjoyed these tweaks, and if you want to, hit that subscribe button for future videos like this. Anyways guys, enjoy your tweaks on iOS 9.3.3, and until next time, peace.